Well, here we are, and it's almost time to start a new online Bible study. Yay! Yay! I'm here with Nikki Koziars. I'm Melissa Taylor, Director of Online Bible Studies at Proverbs 31 Ministries. And our last Bible study was so impactful, mm -hmm. so powerful. Mm -hmm. What happens when women say yes to God? We had yes girls from all over the world yeah. come together. How many countries was it? Over 120. Oh, mm -hmm. That's amazing. It was so amazing. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited of what God is going to do with us as we continue our journey. We don't ever want to close a book and say, okay, Bible study done. That's it. No, no it's just beginning. Mm -hmm. And we know we've said yes to God. And sometimes saying yes to God, in fact, often can lead to doubt. Mm -hmm. You start to question yourself. Okay, I said yes to God, now what? Yep. The study is over, now what? And then you might start thinking, am I really cut out for this? Mm -hmm. Am I good enough? Mm -hmm. Am I strong enough? Mm -hmm. Is God still with me? Yeah. And that is one of the reasons we are following up what happens with women say yes to God to a confident heart. The subtitle of this is how to stop doubting yourself and live in the security of God's promises. Mm -hmm. And we have been learning God's promises in online Bible studies for over two years now. Mm -hmm. But what we have to remember is to not only learn them and commit them to memory, but apply them in our everyday life. Yeah, and I think it's really important that as we move from yes to God to a confident heart, mm -hmm. that we remember all that God did during that yes. time and those mm -hmm. dreams and those visions and those palms up kind of moments that right. He gave us. Because as we step out from that and into this, we will question, did we really hear from God? Yes. Was that God's voice in my life, in your life? And so this study is gonna really help us continue to unpack those dreams and That's visions right. and purposes that God has for your life. Right. And you know, we won't just skim over your doubts. Yeah. We're actually going to address them. Nikki, let me ask you, have you ever said things like this? I can't do this. Things will never change. My life isn't going to get better. I'll never have the confidence I need. Absolutely, since I was a little girl, I've struggled with having confidence in myself and my mm -hmm. thoughts and who I am, not only as a person, a wife, a mom, a friend, an mm -hmm. employee, a writer, a speaker, all those things, I have asked those questions. Right. And haven't we learned the importance of when you start your journey with God and you begin to get close to Him and have that relationship, which we never arrive. You never yeah. are like, yeah, I've done it. Yeah. Me and God are like this. Yeah. You might be, but you want to stay like that every day. So yeah. you can never get out of His Word. And so that's why we just want to continue our journey of getting closer to Him every single day so that instead of dwelling on those doubts, mm -hmm. we dwell in God's Word. Mm -hmm. So in this study, we're we're going to address those doubts and we're going to touch on them, but we're not going to stay there in that pit. We're not going to dwell on that. We're going to jump right into God's Word and conquer because we've learned that God's Word is victorious over everything. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I'm so happy. Nikki is going to kind of play a different role this time. Her Twitter parties or our Twitter parties yes. <laughs> that Nikki had a huge role in um, were so awesome and successful. We're going to continue that for a confident heart mm -hmm. and we're going to have something new called Tweet It Up Tuesday, which will be telling you about and that will be Nikki Day um, on the blog where she's going to um, be um, hosting our Twitter parties and doing the Tweet It Up Tuesday on the blog and we also have some other people joining us Stephanie Clayton and Stephanie Raquel amazing women on our leadership team you yes. are gonna love them they're gonna help teach this study and really bring these truths to life mm -hmm. for us and we still have our blog hop with Shelly Faust yes. leading that and yep. our prayer and praises on Saturday yep. with Jenny Blankenship. Yep. So it's really exciting. It's I can't wait. It's going to be fun. So much fun. And author Renee Swope is going to be so super involved in our mm -hmm. study. I just cannot wait. You're going to get to know her really well. Yeah. And she's so honored that um, we're joining her and have selected her book for this next study. Yep. All right, Nikki. Well, I'm excited Me too, to girl. do this again. Yep. Confident heart, here we come. The study will be starting really soon. We hope you'll join us. You may